in this time and day to move your family around do you need a big SUV can you not live dengan kereta cantik macam ni ha? hari ni kita keluar jalan SUV sudah sampai So I was just telling our viewers that we don't have to buy an SUV to carry a family and of course who shows up you show up in an SUV lah of course because I was gonna you know I mean look at this beauty lah you know from Sweden why this is not a beauty eh? um uh, beauty is in the eye of the beholder they say <laughs> so you know but uh, as far as I'm concerned I think if you have a family of about five people you can comfortably carry them in a car you don't necessarily need an SUV lah right Yes, but it also depends on your family. So uh, today, actually, before we move further, I just want to clarify: we are not comparing these two cars heads-on. No, we can already hear you saying you bodo ga mo compare <laughs> Volvo sama uh, uh. CX-9. Now we are just going to compare buying a sedan, sedan? versus a sedan? buying uh, SUV. an SUV. We are going to look at the pros and cons of a sedan versus the pros and cons. Of an, SUV. of an SUV for your family. But what works for your family? Let's find out. So, I know you're a fan of the of the SUV, yeah. But you must drive this and see the the feel of it, lah. You know, see how planted it feels. Ah, uh, step, step, oh, 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 ah. Oh, uh, you see. Ah, uh, uh, quick, quick is an understatement, lah. I think. I think it's very, very fast. That is when the motors kick in coming from an SUV number one the seating position is lower it's lower correct and uh, it's uh, okay if you are, I think if you are looking at it from a, the driver's seat perspective yes uh, point of view I think uh, a sedan is uh, better lah yes because uh, it's from it's a more engaged driver's car I feel correct. compared to an SUV your seating height and then yes. your position and your uh, lower center of gravity yes. how assured the car feels on the road you know the especially when you take the corner you should have taken it a bit far ah, there ah look at that you know ah so oh, 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 oh. <laughs> see handling there you go yeah. there you go okay, okay in that sense uh, the sedan wins because correct uh, lower center of gravity and the way the suspension is set up yes because in uh, we will get to the suv after this of course of course the main difference that i feel coming from an suv is that it's uh, it, it's sharper yes taking corners there's no i mean there's very bare minimum body roll exactly and uh, simply put nicer to drive lah wow how easy to get out not really lah yes ah eh? And to make it uh, worse, uh, coming from an SUV, yeah, uh, the seats are lower, the car is lower. Yes, that is good when it comes to driving, but convenience-wise, I think getting in and out for us young people okay lah. Okay, yeah, okay, but, but if you got parents or slightly, uh, that's why. So Let's try the back, back seats seat, though. Yeah, yeah. kepala kepala jaga. Oh yo, amma. Okay, uh, okay. So all people, people, please, please, please be, careful, be careful. Okay. But yeah, uh, once you get in, it's fine. But yeah. low lah. Uh, it, yeah. Tall people must be careful and uh, slightly older people who have difficulty, maybe sort of fitting, dropping in the seat. They have to be a yeah, bit. Uh, those whose backs are all broken. Yes. Uh, Correct. Leg space, though, I think for me is. Oh no problem because the front seats were yeah. where I left them earlier. Correct. And we still have a lot of space. Yeah. Head space. Uh, uh, as long as you don't go fast over a bump, you're okay lah. Ah, yes, ah, but, oh, don't go I fast lah. Ah, 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 bump, ah, uh, then uh, yeah, it'll be a bit of a. So yes, tall people and old people, maybe yeah. SUV lah. Now another important thing, if you're taking a family, kuaga kuaga, kena check lah kan tempat tempat nak simpan snack, simpan air. Ah, too penting. So for this Volvo, tempat nak charge phone eh. So for here we got there. Yeah, sini boleh simpan snack, simpan buku. Same, both sides, Scott. You have the 12 volt charging port for all your USB to charge your smartphone, your tablet, apa apa lah. Kau nak charge, okay? The seat here, kan tak nampak lah. But there is a compartment here to put your to put more things. It's the same on this side. Let me show you. Ah, out in the sun here. Ah, so you see this compartment. You can keep barang here. 
So the bag looks quiet. It's a well placed bag lah, to be honest, to keep your things and all that. Cukup tempat I rasa. So now we move to the depan kereta pula. So depan ni, we got two slots here to keep your air for the driver and the passenger. Uh, this one is a little bit small if you ask me lah. But I have my uh, charging one here. You've got another two USB chargers here. What you can keep inside here? Your parking card lah. Anything else lah? Uh, not really. So now, we have the quintessential family trip lah. Bila family trip, kena ada lah. Orang dalam kereta kan? Kasi full-full. Tengok feel. Usually it's five lah. Ah, Mummy, daddy, two, five. two fat kids and a maid <laughs> lah. Yes, correct. Correct. Yes. So I think it's uh, perfect for four lah. Family of yes. four. Yeah, because, because uh, yeah, as we showed earlier, the, you can bring down the armrest. And you can sit comfortably. I and think. then you've got the cup holders as well Correct. when the armrest comes down. So family yeah. of five, uh, I think shoulder rubbing is uh, inevitable. Not so comfortable for long distance lah. Yes. Okay, so how big is the boot? 500 liters. Not bad, so, not bad. Lot of space, enough to carry all uh, whatever you need for a road trip of our family. Uh, but, I think you realize that one slight problem is that it's a little bit oh so at the angle yeah. uh, putting in things yeah. so uh, you as if you're carrying something you must uh, bend down like that and go in if you've got a heavy bag might be a problem yeah because, because you have to low, carry right, and exactly. then you have to bend your back right. and you can't just uh, you want the inside oh yeah cool, cool, cool. Uh, that's Understood. the that's the one problem lah. but what can it carry you already saw it. So now we'll drive the SUV and see how it drives lah. Since we are coming from the sedan. Sedan, but we first adjust cruise dulu. Bagi semua comfortable dulu. First impressions definitely higher, but doesn't feel too out of place honestly. Like to me SUV compared to sedan like this uh, high Sitting position gives you confidence, lah. You know. Yeah, you're correct. Driving. Because you're a bit more commanding view of the yes. road, you know, and you're not looking. Uh, you're not that high that it's a bit unnerving. It's just nice. Because it's tekan sekira. Fast, it's fast. This is oh, a two, two point five liter turbo. I mean, not. It's not as quick as the uh, sedan so we are then, looking at today, yeah, but. but Pick up, ada, ada, cukup. So in today's market, there is no such thing as uh, so, so. SUVs are slower. No. No, 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 no. They are just as quick. I wouldn't say this is slow, but one thing is that that you may notice is that if you are a bit split around the corners, ah, uh, the, 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 the body roll, you can feel. Yeah, like, you can feel uh, the weight you shifting. Can feel the weight shifting, yeah. But to be fair though, I mean, if you're gonna buy an SUV, you're not gonna drive like, you're not gonna do a Tauge session in, in, in a CX-9 e Exactly. La. Okay, you're gonna take your family comfortably, carefully, you know. Let's look at how responsive the steering is. Whoa. It's sharp, it's sharp, it's very sharp. sharp. And oh, cannot compare like this one. The door frame, the roof is not far away from your yeah. head, you won't be knocking. Yeah, yeah, you're and absolutely even, right. For tall people, old people, you just slide in and slide out. So Correct. that's very convenient. Because you're just basically sitting into it. You're falling into the seat. Yes, you're not you're going just down. Correct, you're not dropping down. The convenience features, we have uh, here this one storage, big storage compartment here. I think you can put your smart tag, your phone. Ah, uh, easy to reach. You can put like three or four phones there. Exactly. At least two phones and one smart tag. Correct. And then you have a big uh, glove box. I mean, not to say very big, lah. Uh, quite, it's quite deep. Yeah, you can put your, your mask. There, A4 size paper goes uh, straight into inside. the glove box. Nice. You and can then put two bottles two here. Holders and we have a oh. deep. Oh, yo. Yeah, uh, man. Center console storage box here with a USB. USB. Uh, okay. You have two USB charging uh, ports. ports, one auxiliary port, and a slot to put your SD card. And there is also another hidden uh, 12 volt power outlet here, hidden at the side. Whoa. So that is Very only good. the front. Correct. Now let's see what the back seat has. Yes. In the back seat. Oh. 
Higher oh. than the front seat, slightly higher than uh, the front seat. Yes, higher than the front seat, but still comfortable, I think. Enough uh, head clearance. Yep, and yeah. in terms of convenience, we have a uh, digital uh, display for rear aircon. Yep. We have two nice big rear air vents. Yep. And uh, here you have uh, like a two. Oh, yeah, level two layer, two top level, top yes. Behind the seat. Correct. And the door pocket is not a cup holder. You can actually zoom a 1.5 litre. The bottle bottle inside. Bottle, Oof. Which is one of the coolest things. Like. Yeah, correct. Especially so if you're going on those think, long road trips. Uh, it's safe to say that convenience wise, uh, SUV wins. Uh, like. But so, how yes. practical are the third row of seats? That uh, I want to uh, find out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. How's the third seat, bro? Not. Not too bad lah, okay lah, leg space a bit premium lah, I cannot stretch my legs But if you are going to the mama for dinner, I, I can... 45 minutes, 1 hour can tahan lah, should uh, be okay right, how tall 45, are you? 45, I'm about 5'10, uh, 5'11 uh. Still, it's not, your knees are not touching Not touching yet, not touching yet, because your back is sort of, you, you sink nicely into the seats Yes So it's okay, and you got your own cup holders here Big ones as well. That's right, on both sides It doesn't feel claustrophobic I must say so it's yeah. not just wayang la, and you can fit in adults. Yeah, you can fit in adults. My size, I think, is a good is good lah. But then again, this is the CX9 lah. Ah, the yes. biggest SUV Mazda has to offer. No issues, no complaints. So get to know your family first. Yes. You must know what is important for your family. <laughs> Measure your family properly. And then family fit them. Also very, very important, cool. yes. So how does the SUV feel compared to the sedan? Yeah, so much more spacious. Uh, yeah, yeah definitely more spacious, more headroom. Okay. More leg room. Yeah? More room? Yeah, yeah. Comfort okay. wise, okay, good. Yeah, Cupboards. Okay. Yeah? Awesome. Icon semua cukup. Can do a Ipo trip lah. Can ah? Yeah. yeah. How much? Is there a shoulder rubbing? Well, uh, gym sitting in the middle, so it's Yeah, easier. I think it's a better layout than before. Yes, huh? Yeah. 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 But I think it's about the same shoulder. I think daddy is trying to kill us. <laughs> Okay, in this car, can you sit for three hours? Uh, three hour trip. Two pin. Uh, two hours. I mean, of course, hours, with, with, with in uh, stops Ipoh, in, in Ipoh, between, Ipoh, it'll be more comfortable, lah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I think we can agree that when it comes to rear occupants, comfort, SUVs, SUVs are better. Better, lah. Yeah. SUVs are better. Okay, now I know when we got three seats, that means the boot space, sedikit kecil. And if you're carrying a family for these long journeys, you got some big bags, we have some, you know, things to carry. What's the boot space like? You win some, you lose some. So if you have all three rows of seats up, then the you... It's not that big, but you can stack things up maybe up like this. Uh, what? Yeah, this one is enough for your pasar malam shopping. Lah. Yeah, or maybe a month of grocery. Yes. But if you really need more space, just, uh, what do you do? Down, okay, you one, fold down one. And one more time. One more, and, and then, then you. Bring it down. Oh! You have a bed, la! And another highlight is that the third row. Oh, sure. I'm okay, I'm okay. The third row seats you fold 50 50, and the second row seat you can fold 60 40. So you can still fit people, as, uh, get someone to sit down there and put the objects in, you know, sing it. And so. It's, it's versatile, versatile and uh, a lot you know, of flexibility. You know what's one more important thing or not? Yep. Being in a family car, this kind of arrangement can also help you expand the family. I just said don't get any naughty ideas. So, boot space-wise, space-wise. Very, very big. Very big. Very big. We agree. So, Kawan Kawan, you've seen the comparison of a sedan and an SUV. Which one is right for your family? That one only you can answer. Like my kawan tadi cakap, ini bukan perbezaan di antara S90, X, S90 dengan CX9. We are not comparing the models. Ah. Yes. Jangan sedan, jadi pandai. Ya. Sedan or SUV, which one is more suitable for your family? That Correct. is the topic today. Correct. Basically, what is important to you? Bagi anda, apa yang penting? Driving dynamics, solid penting atau Practicality, mana penting? I think in conclusion, 
it is what works for you lah. Yes, depending on uh, what you want, how big your family is. Correct. How big your family members are. How big your pocket <laughs> is. Yeah, ah. of course, because these are not cheap cars. We're just no. showing it for example lah. Correct. Okay, this is for people who have like, if you have like 400k, then yes, please consider these two cars. If not, we have cheaper, other so many other models. Banyak options. You know, I think what you want to consider is that apa yang kita nak fikirkan ialah don't think just because family kena ada SUV. Some families will fit perfectly in a sedan or other types of car. You know, so that's what we want to bring forward today. So, cantik. Rambut dan Till next time.